cannot imagine 65 mile an hour winds. But yeah. It's, it's a good... Even half that, I feel like I need to hold on to the railing or something yeah. near me. And it's, it's exact. Oh, sorry, you no, go ahead. you go. You've been All wanting to say, say something is, this whole time. Well, we talk about a multi-day restoration yeah. for the electricity mm -hmm. crews. It's because of those high yes. wind gusts. They can't exactly. go up if it's 40 miles. They can't go up in a bucket truck and be swaying all over the place. No, not safe. Are the winds going to die down, Dana? Yes, the good news is they've already started to die down a little bit. We've already passed our peak of those wind gusts. It's still going to be breezy throughout the rest of the weekend, but once this storm starts to weaken, starts to pull out of our area, we're going to lose a lot of those high wind gusts. There so that's the good news. So here are some of our snow reports. This is as of 4 p.m. The highest that I could find, Shapley with 21 and a half inches. A lot of areas, especially away from the coast, clocking in at over a foot of snow and snow is still falling. So we're still expecting a couple more inches to tack on to the end of these numbers because snow is going to continue to accumulate overnight tonight. Now close to the coastline, it is a little bit less so, six inches in Kennebunk six over six and a half in Gardner, but it's been a very tight gradient close to the ocean. And once you get inland, those numbers have just been going higher and higher. So this is what our system looks like right now. We are starting to pull in some dry air here. I mentioned that a little bit earlier down in York County, starting to get into a dry slot there. So the precipitation has stopped for the time being there. Same with looks like rangely pulling in some drier air, but overall still a bunch of heavy snow moving throughout the state. And this system is going to linger. It's really going to continue to kind of keep throwing moisture back at us really until we get into the weekend. So that's why we're still expecting a few more inches of accumulation overnight tonight, especially once the sun goes down. That's when we're going to start to drop those temperatures and easier to accumulate snow. So here is our center of low pressure, a very traditional nor'easter looking system here, throwing that moisture back into our state and bringing in some of that cold air too. So that's why we're continuing to see heavy snow throughout the day. Now what we were talking about with those wind gusts, we have already reached our peak. So we are starting to slow down the wind a little bit here, still gusting to about 35 miles an hour, especially in areas in eastern Maine and along the coastline. And we're still going to remain breezy overnight tonight and into the weekend, but the wind is going to start to calm down. Now this winter storm warning, all of our areas here, almost the entire state shaded in pink, and that's going to remain in effect until 8 p.m. tonight. So the rest of this system is going to start to become more scattered overnight tonight because the storm overall is going to weaken. However, we're still going to see some of that heavy snow, especially pushing back into the mountains and in areas of western Maine. Some mixed precipitation along the immediate coastline, especially in down east Maine and towards the mid coast. And then both Friday and Saturday, we're going to end up with kind of this like scattered rain and snow shower situation. Enough of this moisture is going to linger. However, our temperatures will be a bit on the higher side when snow is falling, so we aren't expecting much more accumulation. Friday and Saturday, but it's still going to be a very unsettled day with scattered rain and snow showers throughout the afternoon Friday and on Saturday. It takes us really until Sunday to kind of start to really clear out of this system where we're going to have decrease in clouds. And then at least next week at this time, that looks pretty calm. So that's kind of the light at the end of the tunnel there. So our wind gusts are going to continue to diminish overnight tonight and into tomorrow. It's going to remain breezy both Friday and Saturday. Wind gusts to about 30 miles per hour, but it's definitely less so than what we saw today. So that should allow you to get out and do some cleanup. Same with our power companies being able to do some more restorations once the wind gusts start to diminish. Our marine forecast got that gale warning in effect until Friday at 1 a.m. there. So our seven day forecast is going to be dominated the end of this week by the system that we're seeing, kind of still that lingering moisture both Friday and Saturday. And then the light at the end of the tunnel here is really that Monday forecast for the eclipse. Always like to end that forecast on a good note. Yeah. 57 degrees and mostly sunny skies. I call it stunning on a seven day uh, forecast nice. because there's really no other word for it. Next system looks to be on next Thursday and that looks to be a rain system right now. So all things considered, we're going to be able to start to clean up within the next few days, hopefully get that power restored, and then be rewarded with a beautiful eclipse forecast. I love it. From Nor'easter to stunning. We'll take it. <laughs> Thanks, Maine in April. <laughs> Thanks, Dana.